No, I'm down in the south bay at Donev. That's Georgie Donev over there with his back to us. He's such a lovely, generous man and he always helps me out. He's given me 50 boxes of grapes, red ones and green ones. Delicious. So we're going to be making wine. And uh, Jesus Christ asked, called me, said, could I bring some over? Uh, because he was, he was having a wedding feast at Cana and he, needed, he ran out of wine there. So he asked me to bring some over. So I'm going to run over to Cana and uh, give him some grapes so they can all stump him and make some more wine. You know what I mean? It's terrible when you run out of wine like that. And those who know what I'm talking about, it's the marriage feast of Cana. It's from the Bible where Jesus, uh, the guest at the house said to Jesus, hey man, I ran out of wine. I just, I don't know, all my guests are gonna be insulted. And Jesus said, do me a favor, go get some big uh, caskets and fill them up with water. And he said, we got, we're not drinking water. This is a wedding. My guests are going to be upset. He said, don't worry about it. Go get the water. So the guy, they got 12 big uh, cassocks or whatever you call them of water. And, in, and, and Jesus put, he changed the wine. No, no. He changed the water into wine. And the guest said, let me taste that. How could water be wine? He said, just take, so go ahead. Look at taste. He said, it's the best wine I've ever had or made in my entire life. And everybody was happy. Everybody got very happy after they drank the, the wine that Jesus changed from water. No grapes, just water. Performed the miracle of the changing of the water into wine. How about that? Now, you think that's not fact? Go look it up. There's a book called The Bible. And it's the story of the marriage feast at Cana. And a wealthy guest got all this wine and the people drank up too much too early. And he ran out and he said, rather than send out to the liquor store on account of they didn't have any liquor stores, Jesus said, I'll step in here, I'll do you one. And they all didn't believe him, of course, but he got, he prayed, he prayed over the water. And before you knew it, it had changed into the most delicious wine the guy had ever tasted. And there you have it. That's my story.